Hi, this is Ron from Knowledgeware, and I'm going to lead you through the steps today of logging in for e-learning for the first time in the Knowledgeware website. First, check that you're on a PC-compatible computer, not a Macintosh, and that you're using the Microsoft Internet Explorer web browser, not Firefox, Chrome, Opera, or other unsupported browsers. First, I go to the assigned login page. Your page may look different than this, but it'll operate in a similar fashion, and click on the Student Login button. The screen then goes uh, pure white with a line of text in the upper left corner, or there may be a little red X in the upper left corner. On this screen it says, click here to install the following ActiveX Control Author Web, Web Player for Macromedia Inc. I click on that, and then I select Install this add-on for all users of this computer. Then the screen goes blank for a few seconds. Another dialog box comes up. I want to say yes to this. This is normal. screen goes blank again for a few seconds as more files are loaded. Then we have another dialog box coming up, Internet Explorer Security. I'm using Windows 7 Internet Explorer 9 here. It's asking me if I want to trust this particular file called webplr.exe. And this is normal. Click on Allow. And the file should load at this point. You should go to a blue screen. If you don't go to a blue screen, then we're going to go to the upper right corner and I'm going to select Tools on my Internet Explorer menu item and Tools in IE9 looks like a small round gear but on the version that you're using it may say just Tools. Then I pick Internet Options bring this dialog box down I go to the Security tab click on Trusted Sites then click on Sites. Now I want to add this website to my trusted zone. And I want to make sure, first of all, that this Require Server Verification checkbox is not checked. It should be unchecked in order to add this site. This site should say exactly this, HTTP without an S, HTTP colon, two forward slashes, www.kccsoft.com. I click Add. It's now in the, in the box below. Click Close. Click OK. I'm going to go up to the top of the screen and press my reset or refresh arrow or I can press F5 on the keyboard. At this point you may have one or more silver dialog boxes appear on the screen asking if you want to trust or install a file. Click on yes or OK or install. Answer in the positive. This is normal. And then as you see the files have begun to load and now we get to a blue screen and now you can log in with the information that your manager has provided you.